Every tribe and nation are bound by certain cultural practices and traditions, and Nigeria is not an exception. Certain tribes in the country, however, have what one can refer to as weird, strange, and even outrageous traditions. Weird because in this era, it just feels totally uncool to practice such things, but of course, totally normal and acceptable for inhabitants of those places where they are practiced. In this video, we will highlight the top 10 bizarre cultural practices in Nigeria. Top 10 on our list, scarification in Benue State. In some parts of Benue State, the practice of scarification is still common. This involves making permanent designs on the body by cutting the skin and rubbing charcoal or other substances into the wounds. Scarification is not only peculiar to the Idoma tribe of Benue State. You can also find scarification in Ogbomosho, Oyo, Southwest Nigeria, and Fulani in the north. It can be of various shapes and sizes depending on the culture where the scarification is taking place. Top 9, we have Magun. Magun is a fetish practice among the Yoruba tribe, which is set as a death trap for adulterous women to kill any man that sleeps with such woman. Magun means don't climb, which is placed on the floor by the woman's husband without her consent, so that if she commits adultery, a lover could end up losing his life or getting stuck while in the act. Hmm, now wow. Now top eight on our list is Sharo. The Sharo festival is one you might have heard about. Sharo means flogging. It is an age-old tradition still practiced till date by the Fulani, majorly in Jigawa state in which a groom undergoes the most unimaginable form of endurance test. In this case, the groom is severely flogged in an open ceremony. Flogging that can reset brain. The groom must endure the flogging. He must not cry or show any form of pain. If he passes this test, he is presented with the bride. If it happens that the groom fails the first, he goes home empty-handed. Top seven on our list is marriage by kidnapping. Within the Thief and Igede tribe of Benue State, marriage in present time is a thing of wealth and celebration, just like in many other parts of Nigeria. In previous times though, tradition allowed a man who found a girl he likes to organize to kidnap her from the streets. He would hold her hostage and then proceed to negotiate marriage with her parents. The whole process involves gifts given, rituals such as gun firing, and warning intending suitors to keep away from her. After the whole rite, the lady is officially his wife. I'm actually speechless, like seriously. Top six on our list is widowhood. This entails the observance of certain rights by women who lost their husband, and this differ from culture to culture in Nigeria. Common among the Igbo speaking in southeastern Nigeria, the woman is expected to wail and cry loudly at her husband's death, show a deep sense of grief, cry loud morning and night, prove her innocence by drinking the water with, with which the corpse was washed, being locked up with her husband's corpse. The hair on her head and body are compulsorily shaved. Widowhood is often the beginning of lifelong oppression and misery for women. Top five on our list is female circumcision. This scary act is highly prevalent and common in Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Ijo, and Kanuri communities. Unlike the male circumcision, which involves special or complete removal of the foreskin around the genitals, the female circumcision involves total removal of the genitals just to preserve the woman's chastity. Please don't preserve it for me. Top four on our list today is child marriage. 
child marriage is prevalent in the Hausa ethnic group, especially in the Sharia legislated Kano state. The rates of child marriage are some of the highest in the country. Recent report shows that in some northern states, 78% of girls marry before the age of 18. This act prevents them from making their own life choices, disrupts their education, subjects them to violence and discrimination, and denies their full participation in economic, political, and social life. Haba, this one is wrong now. Now on our top three, we have Aleku. This is a traditional god of the Idoma people of Benue State. According to them, Aleku is popularly believed to have the power to protect, reward, avert, and punish sons and daughters of the land who go contrary to its principles. The Aleku serves has a tradition that prevents infidelity amongst couples. There are several laws of Aleku which every Doma sons and daughters must not break. This means that a married woman is not allowed or permitted to commit adultery because if she does, and the husband eats out of the food she cooked, it has implications on her husband. Either a cleansing sacrifice is done to avert the wrath of the gods, or the man dies. Top two on our list is the Eshu cow funeral ritual. Eshu is an evil breed of cow used in a funeral rite in the Insuka cultural area of Igbo land. But many factors influence if someone will receive funeral rites such as how and when they died, their marital status, and if they performed the same rites for their own parents. If someone qualifies, then the rite is performed to ensure that the dead can rest peacefully and to lift them to a higher position within the spirit world. But it is weird that if you have not performed this tradition for your parents or could not afford to perform it, your children must not perform it for you. And today, the top one on our list is money marriage. Through a tradition called money marriage and victims called money women or money wife, some young girls are being used as currency in a type of modern slavery among Bichaif, a community in a Banluku local government area of Coast River State, which is about eight hours drive from Calabar, the state's capital but it is stuck with an age-long bizarre culture. Children are sold to men as old as 90 years to settle debt or as a form of payment. Which of girls are sold into money marriage for cash as low as 10,000 naira, food items like tubers of yam, livestock like goats and pigs, all depending on the bargaining power. So that's on it, guys, for today. So which other bizarre cultural practices in Nigeria do you know? Feel free to drop that in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also click on the notification bell on your screen. Bye for now.